Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about tuples in Python. Tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variable. A tuple is one of the, the four built-in data types in Python that we have to store collections of data. The other three are the lists, the sets and the dictionaries, all of uh, different qualities and usages. A tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable. So let's start by seeing these examples here. We have some functions and some ways of creating tuples and handle the data inside. As a start, we know that a tuple can store, let's call it a set of data. So it's a collection of data. We cannot change the data after we specify the tuple. So it's immutable. In our first function, we have a simple function where we transform a list, a Python list with data into a tuple using the keyword, the tuple of the list. So if you have a list of data, you can, let's call it cast or convert it into a tuple by using the keyword. We can also create tuples directly by specifying the data comma separated and we use the uh, parentheses here instead of uh, if you have a list, you need to have the square brackets. So you have square brackets that identifies the lists, the curly braces that identifies the dictionaries, and we have the parentheses that identifies the tuples. We can have all the types of data inside the tuple. It, it can be in uh, numbers like in integers, floats, it can be strings, it can be also lists, but we need to be careful with lists, of course. And why? Because we are storing a reference to the list and not the list. And that is quite important. We will see later in this video why it is important and what can happen if you are not aware of that. Basically, this function creates uh, two tuples, uh, sorry, three different tuples, and then we just print them. Then we have another function where we create a tuple with a list and we access to the first position inside the tuple. So this is how you can access to a specific position inside the tuple is like accessing uh, a list position. You put there the index and here we are getting the first position. That is the, that list and we are trying to append a value there and then we will run this and try to see what happened. Another function that we have here is to update the list and try to print is hash value. So we are trying to print the hash value for the, the, the first tuple with the, the list. Then we append the value. So it is the same example as above. And we have the tuple number two where we have a tuple of strings and we print Firstly, the hash for the string and then the hash for the tuple with the, um, the list inside. Then we have our main function. Here we are creating a tuple based on that function we saw in the first place. This one that you, you give it a list with your data and it returns a tuple. So in our main, I'm storing the tuple that is returned from this function and we are passing the, the, um, these values. Let me comment all these values out and run this. So we can see our, our tuple. You can see it is identified using parentheses. So we give it a list and we transform the list of values into a tuple with all these values. Of course, you can also use slicing as we have in lists. So you can say, I want to print only from the first index into the one before the last one. So minus one is the last one, minus two, the one before and so on. So it prints five and nine. So position index zero, index one, you get that index two and index three, that is the minus one. So you go only 
until the 9. Then let's uncommon this create and print the tuple. Basically it creates the three distinct tuples and prints them. Uh, you ca we can um, comment this out so we can have a cleaner view. So this is the, 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 the function to create and print tuple. The first one, one, two, three, four, and five, A, B, C, and the one with the list. As simple as that, you can declare the tuples using the parentheses or using the tuple keyword before to create a new instance of that um, type of variable. Then we can call the one that tries to change the list inside. So this one, let me show you all the code. So basically we declare our tuple here and then we try to append a value. Okay, so let's let's save here and run. And as you can see, we are allowed to append a value into a list. However, if you try to let me and comment that. So we are creating the new tuple and we are trying to directly assign a new value to the first position. We are overriding the first position that is one. If you try to run, you can see that we are getting an error because a tuple is immutable. You cannot change the values that you start with. But in the list case here, we are appending to the list, but inside the tuple, we are only saving the reference to the list and not the, the list values. And this is important because a list is not hashable and we need to be careful with that. We need to understand what is going on behind the scenes with our code. So let me comment that out. And if I try to print the hash for the tuples, if I run this, you can see that I have my tuple to hash value. So my tuple to is simply a tuple of strings, but my tuple is not printing the hash because it is from a hashable type because it contains a list inside and you cannot hash the values to compare because it's a reference value. You cannot use that as a key for your dictionary for instance. So after these examples, I hope you now understand how tuples work. They are good because you can force your collections of data to be, uh, let's call it frozen and no one can change the values. If you declare the, the collection of data using a list, uh, someone can uh, remove, uh, edit or overwrite the, the, the values, but using a tuple, you specify your values and while running or while executing your script or program, it will always be with that value because tuples are unmutable. And I also have that here. Let me try to show you all, all, all the, the comments. So lists are mutable. So Python needs to allocate an extra memory block uh, because we may need to extend the size of uh, our list object after we create them to append new values and so on. On the other hand, we have the tuples that are immutable and with a fixed size. So Python allocates just the minimum memory block required for the data and it is faster and we reduce the amount of memory we are using while running our scripts and programs. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you have some questions, please put all of them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, give a like and share with all your friends and see you in next video.